my name is Siri Torvik and I was a family camper for about 10 years as well as a senior counselor during the summers of 2018 and 2019. Today I have the pleasure of sharing the daily dose with all of you. I'm going to be reading from 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 8 and 9, the ESV translation. Therefore do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but share in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who saved us and called us to a holy calling not because of our works, but because of his own purpose and grace, which he gave us in Christ Jesus before the ages began. So the reason I wanted to share these verses with all of you is because they've been such a great encouragement to me in my walk with the Lord, as well as our calling as Christians to share the gospel. I really love the language that Paul uses here when he says to therefore not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord. Paul says to not be ashamed of the gospel, to not be ashamed of what Jesus proclaims, um, to not be ashamed of the reason why Jesus came to earth. Because we're all sinners, uh, we needed Jesus to take the weight of our sin and take the penalty of our sin off ourselves um, so we could be in a right relationship with God. And that's what he accomplished through dying on the cross and rising again for us. Um, Paul points out that the gospel is so important that we should share in suffering for its sake. Paul went through beatings and imprisonment and mockery for the gospel, but in many of his other letters he says to rejoice in suffering because it's for the gospel's sake, it's for the sake of making Jesus known to others. I think what this verse has taught me the most is um, it's helped me to think about ways that I can be bold for Christ. What are ways that I can be bold in my walk with the Lord and be bold about sharing my faith, be bold about sharing the gospel? Um, there are so many different ways to do that. Um, it might be through a small conversation that you have with someone. It might be through going up to someone and asking them if they want to talk about Jesus. Um, God works through us in so many different ways. And the beauty of the call to share the gospel is that we're not alone in it. Um, we have the power of the Holy Spirit. We have the power of God working through us and speaking through us to um, make his name known and to help others to understand what the gospel says. Um, so I hope that these verses have been an encouragement to all of you and that you can think about ways that you can be bold for Christ and how you can make Christ known to all. I hope you're all doing well.